Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to begin things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make a new creative universe like how the late Stanley was. In this particular footage, I'm going to introduce a character that you might be surprised with at first, but eventually, and hopefully, you guys would get the hang of it and such. This is for a character known as Mega Maid, and if you guys bear with me and try to uh, listen as I read this, I'm going to introduce her to you guys. Just bear with me as much as you can. Mega Maid. Number 1. The Beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 25th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves in the backyard of the mansion of Mayor Dales, the mayor of the Big Apple. We then start focusing on a feminine housemaid who is currently sweeping the back porch. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Lacey Jones. She has light blue eyes, silverish black hair in a short bob, and is apparently dressed in her style of housemaid clothing. While she was sweeping, she heard some kind of impact sound and found that a metallic ball the size of a softball randomly fell out of the sky. Lacey then decided to check it out, holding her rectangular ended broom with her. What's this? she asked herself as she examined the chrome plating of the ball. Oh wow. Some kind of device created by the Blue Man Clan. Wait a minute. She realized that the ball was making a beeping sound that grew louder and faster, and before Lacey reacted, the ball exploded and splashed a gallon of some experimental compound on her, which quickly faded on the surface. By that moment, her life changed forever. After a moment of hesitation, Lacey found that she started expanding to the immense height of 800 feet. She inadvertently stepped on the mansion, and she started smelling the freshest air that she ever smelled. Wow. Look how huge I am. I think I should test this out downtown, she said to herself with a smirk as she thundered her way towards New York City. In order to test out her new state, Lacey decided to do some personal training around Times Square. Sensing her as a threat, the local news station decided to call the new giant Mega Maid. While doing her practicing, Kytericus eventually showed up and said to her, Mega Maid, you've got to stop destroying this city. It won't be a wise option. What makes you think I was rampaging, miss? And you really want to stop me? You should just prove your point, Lacey said as they started fighting. During the fight, Mega Maid found that she also developed great speed, nuclear immunity, and the power to project nuclear beams from her eyes. Despite all that they could, Mega Maid and Kytericus got too exhausted to continue. Well, Lacey, I guess that it'll be best to make it a tie. I agree, she replied, as they finally decided to shake for it and leave it all be. After their throwdown, the Blue Man Clan arrived in their Sky Carrier and used their construction beam to repair all the damage. Mega Maid was eventually marked as a hero to trust, and nowadays, if Lacey ever ends up in a fight, she'd always be willing to clean up the mess. The end. Well, I hope you guys appreciate the storyline there, and, you know, you could comment down below and like and subscribe. It's your choice if you want to do so. And if you guys want to hear some remastering of previous storylines and such, I could do it for you, but only if you guys want me to. I just hope it's not a waste on your guys' behalf, and I 
Hope you guys appreciate my podcast and such so far. I've been doing all that I can despite the balancing act of timing. And I just hope that all my creations would be immortalized, you know? I just hope things would go in proper sequencing, you know? And until next time, I'm Leviathan, and until until next time, for everyone who was watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, in transmission.